Governor Patton, help me here with the modern Hong Kong. Do they have any representation today? Uh, no, very, I mean, they have some, but very little. Uh, the, the really important point about the pe people in Hong Kong is that um, an understanding of the relationship between pluralism, rule of law, uh, prosperity, free markets, free politics is part of their DNA. And, and it's, a, it's amazingly uh, good for um, morale, I think, that it's not just older people who feel that, it's younger people as well. It's the people like Joshua Wong and his, de and his generation who feel passionately um, about freedom. And they should be represented in the government of, of Hong Kong. Um, they've they usually win a majority in elections, but unfortunately the elections um, are, pretty, um, are pretty limited in what they can achieve. And the chief executive is chosen rather like an Iranian um, president right. um, it, from, a, from a list of trustees. Lord Patton, if we were to pivot, which seems to be the word of the modern age, back to the courage you showed 10 years plus ago, if we were to pivot back to that, what would you need from President Trump? You've been an observer of our new modern American policy on Hong Kong and on China. What is the patent prescription for President Trump? Well, um, I, I'm not his biggest admirer. Um, but my prescription would be um, that he and other Western leaders should ask themselves this question, can we trust China to keep its word? Now, we know already from the way, uh, and this is a point which President Trump has been right to, uh, to indicate, we know already that in relation to the WTO access and negotiations, and I was part of the European team during that period, uh, the Chinese have sl slipped and slithered away from what they promised they would do. So it's much more difficult for a Western company to invest in China or sell to China uh, than it is for a Chinese <clears throat> company to do the same the other way around. So you ask yourself, um, if you can't China trust China on that, can you trust China elsewhere? And I think the way they behave um, in Hong Kong, they are treaty bound to try to keep China, uh, Hong Kong as it's been for the last uh, years, for the next 30. If, if you can't trust them in Hong Kong, I think people will start to raise questions about where you can trust them.